In this video we're going to talk about how the dabbing granny was once beloved by the whole community but because of certain actions hated by the whole community now. If you're not sub, stop being Boho Steve. So to give some background information on who the dabbing granny is, her name is Gail Osen. She's a 60 year old woman who got a fan base because of her really shocking videos of her taking massive bong rips and massive dabs while drinking at the same time. In her most popular video, which most people regard as the video that blew her up, she's taking a dab, taking a shot, ripping a massive bong, and chugging a whole pint of beer all in one breath. And at that time in Canvas content creation, you were heavily rewarded with like views and followers if you did shocking videos. Like everybody wanted to see a massive dab and a massive bong grip. And when people seen a granny doing that, it gained like a bunch of views and she got a bunch of followers. With her really shocking videos, she would gain a following of 1.3 million followers on Instagram. And with all that fame, she would get the attention of Drake himself. And would be featured on a Drake Live, which I will show you right now. No. You're very blessed. Yes, ma'am. When did you know that you were going to be a superstar? I don't know. I don't even know if I realize it right now, you know? So that is what it you is. You touch so many people with your songs. I mean, that makes me happy for sure. You touch so many people. When Just because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, you come on here with positivity, your job you're jolly and just happy and joyful and it's like even for me you know sometimes I just look at your page if I'm feeling down I just go look at your page I imagine you having a good day see you doing your thing at the end of the day the beginning of the day it makes me happy I just want to let you know it makes me happy I'll I'll let you go back to all your, your thank you can I just say one thing Please. do you agree with this because I know you've had some really sad times in your life Yes, it's how you react to those sad times. And you can either become a victim of your sad circumstances and wallow, or yeah. you can say, you know what, God, I understand that was the life lessons. I'm sorry that I, you know, that I had to go through this. I hate it, but I'm going to pick myself on. And could you stay positive, young man? Of you course. stay positive. <laughs> Of course, you know, I just try and like... So after seeing that she went live with Drake, you'll probably think that the dabbing granny is going nowhere. But shit happens. In May of 2020, she would go live and tell a story that her daughter told her while she was in jail and openly said the hard R N word. And rightfully after this, a big firestorm happened on every social media. All the cannabis media outlets were covering how the dabbing granny was now the racist granny. And there was even a petition made called Delete the Dabbing Granny and would actually meet its goal of 4,000 signatures. And she would put out an apology but most people just disregard this apology because in it she takes no accountability for what she did and she blames everybody else for taking it the wrong way which is just terrible and she would get a bunch of backlash for this apology so she would delete it which is why I can't show you it here so you would think after receiving all this backlash and her deleting the apology she would realize that she's in the wrong and try to get some help and try to become a better person but nope she said I'm finna hit that shit again and once again on Instagram live she would say the n-word yes Chris I said not to go live you got <laughs> why it's okay to say but not hard R I listen <laughs> I'm for real <laughs> where'd he go Oh no, I lost my buddy. And as of today, most people do not associate with the dabbing granny. And she actually still has a fan base, but majority of the cannabis community does not like her. But let me know what you think down in the comments of the dabbing granny. And until next time, peace. She said I can have it. 2016 little bitch, I'm a savage. Johnny Depp's to a bitch, make all the baggage. Then I feel like I'm a fucking bandit. RIP just walk out perks in the cabinet. Sold them off on my session and smash it.